Hi guys, uh, this is Pratav here. Now we are going to talk about uh, Windows 10 installation. So how we will be doing Windows 10 installation uh, for Kamsha A plus students. So uh, in this series, uh, what all you will be doing? We will be installing about, uh, we'll be knowing about download the image, how you'll be downloading image from that uh, Microsoft, I mean uh, Microsoft website. So let me explain what we are going to do here. So download the image, like means so what? So you will be going to Microsoft.com and then download that image of Windows 10. So if you want to download Windows Server, you also can do that. Now, the, whatever that image you have downloaded, that we are going to import inside that VMware. I mean, we are installing there. Then we'll be creating user, like installation will be happening and then we'll create user in the Microsoft. Now we'll be setting up that password there, enabling that firewall. Why? Because if some attack happens, or some malicious file, you know, uh, is there and uh, somebody can do backdoor or something. Now network, we'll be checking up that IP address, subnet mask, etc. Now if you want to install some browser, let's say Chrome, Google Chrome, or maybe you want to install Firefox. So this kind of installation if you want to perform so that you can do. Now, uh, you know, protecting the password, password of what? Let's say you're having a drive, D drive you have. You want to set password on that, you can do it. Creating partition, let's say you're having a only C drive. So you want to create one more, so that I'll be showing you. Enabling services, some of the service, let's say, uh, HTTP services, some of that advanced services. Those services, how to enable, that I'll be showing you in this videos. So next we'll be going like, you know, this is the link from where we'll be downloading. And then uh, installation, how you can do the installation. Let's say uh, we have that VMware here. This is the VMware. If you go to here and you can check that this is the VMware 15. So you can go to that Google and, uh, you know, uh, VMware download, you can do it. Another one you can do it like you, know, you can Oracle VirtualBox. Oracle VirtualBox download. So if you want to do it, so you will be going there and you can download this. Right? You can download this one, uh, Oracle VirtualBox 6.1. That is the latest version. Also, uh, another one I have mentioned here, if you see, that is that Microsoft Hyper-V. Microsoft Hyper-V, if you go guys here, like appwiz.cpl, if you go there, now if you click on turn on Windows features, and then you can see Hyper-V is here. If you uh, select that, and then if you click on OK, so Hyper-V will be installed. So, you know, you don't need to do anything. It's already there inside your Windows 10. So you don't need to be worried about it. So this is the three way you can install the, you know, virtual machine. So next, like creating partitions, etc. So we will do that practically now. Let's do how to do it. Suppose uh, this is uh, creating new virtual machine. So you'll click on that. And then we'll be selecting that uh, customs, I mean custom one, and then you'll be going next. Then I will select operating system later. Now you will be selecting Windows, Windows 10 64 bit by default it taken. Now, uh, what is the name of the images? Uh, I will select from here BIOS. Then one processor is sufficient here. 2 GB of RAM. Let me increase 4 GB here. And uh, then um, using bridge or NAT, uh, let it be NAT. Now next. Now next. Now I'll be creating a partitions. 
so uh, i will be giving 30 gb next finish so now you will see the windows 10 came here next what we will do we have to i said that you have to import that image so how you will be downloading the image so you will uh, go here uh, you will go any of the browser let's say this is the browser and you will type there microsoft windows 10 eval eval evaluation download so then you will click here so then you will be coming down and you will select windows so windows 10 you want to download so you will be click on that windows 10 after that so this evaluation came and then iso will be selecting and then continue and then it will ask for some of that your basic information let's say name email id etc once you will click click and then it will install i already did the download so what i will do now you will be going here now click on cd dvd once you will click on here you will be going here and browse from here, we'll be selecting that one, Windows 10, this is Windows 10 is here, you just click on open and click OK. Now you power on this machine. Once you power on, you'll see the installation started. Have you seen it? So we can see that this is the Windows 10. We have we are doing installation virtually the same way you can do in your physical machine so in that case you have to uh, if you want to install uh, windows 10 in your physical machine let's say if you're having a desktop or if you're having a laptop in that case what you have to do you have to uh, make a bootable pen drive bootable pen drive and you have to boot uh, the machine your desktop from the pen drive and then exactly same window you'll get from there exactly the same there is no change now uh, languages and all those so let it be as it is if you see the time and currency if you change so you can change it here like which country you belongs to based on that you will be doing it click next you will be click on install So that installation process is going on here. So it will take, uh, you know, see, so we have to accept that one. Now click next. Now you'll be going custom installation. So see 30 gig of partitions is here. So we'll go here, apply, okay. So now you can see here uh, system file is 579 MB that is that one and uh, partition 2 we will go here we will format and it will be become NTFS. Now you will click next so installation started here. Right guys. So uh, let me brief you what all we have done. So first we have download the image. So we have downloaded the image. The image. Next, what we did, we have create uh, VM then we have inserted we have put that image inside the inside the VM after that what we have done we just powered on
or on the here. Now installation has been started. So copying the files. Copying the files means what it is doing. Uh, the image we have imported, right? That image we have taken. So that image is installing inside the hard drive. That 30 GB, uh, you know, storage we have selected, right? It is installing there. That's the thing is happening now. Now, uh, then once it will be 100%, like 38% as of now, and then uh, it will be installing features, installing update, and finishing up. All right, so uh, once this installation process will over, so it, we will be doing many things. You will be doing the setup and other things. I will tell you that. Okay, so next guys, you will see here, we have created that virtual, uh, we have created that virtual hard disk. You see, this is the virtual hard disk is uh, he, here. We have a CD, DVD. If you see here, the CD, DVD, just right click on that and go to the setting once we'll be going to the settings it will show you that page yes you see this is the cd dvd where we have given the download now this is the memory that we have given number processor this is the network card it is uh, right now on nat nat mean network address translation if you want to add anything, let's say you want to add some more memory, you will be click on add and then you want to select memory, you will be selecting that. If you want to select hard disk, you can uh, click on that hard disk. If you want to click network adapter, you will finish new adapter will create. If you want to uh, select memory, you just go here. Okay. Now, if you want to add more USB drive, so click add, you can do. If you want to remove, you can remove from here. So now, next, you will come. Suppose you want to edit that network. This is that VMI, right? You want to edit the network, you will go here. This is virtual network editor. So once you click on that, Once you'll click on that, see that VMNet 8, it is running on NAT and that is that IP address. This is that IP address. IP address means it's a logical address in order to communication between host. Host means this PC will be communicating with another PC or internet. So for that, you need a IP address. That IP address is will be in this range, 192.168.196.0. Now, uh, if you see here, if you want to power on, if you want to remove the CD, uh, then if you want to pause the installation, you want to all control delete and to take an in input snapshot. Snapshot means once it's installation happening, you want to take a snapshot, you can take it here. Uh, you know, this is, if you want to make the clone of this machine, you can do it. Now, if you want to install VM tools, VM tools means uh, VMware tools. Actually, it will be functioning like a driver. Once the machine is installed, I will be showing you uh, how to change the computer name, how to uh, install the drivers and all those I'm going to explain you. Just give me a while. So it will be finishing and then we'll discuss about that. All right. So give me a moment. Now, uh, this was the tab. Now you will become up here. Like if you want to see like this see you know uh, the number of machines will be showing in the down now if you uncheck that it will be like this if you make this it will be full screen all right if you click that it will be out so now if you want to click this so it will be like that if you check it it will be like this and uh, if this is your home button from here you can create new machine also if you go file and create new machine that also you can do all right so this is the way uh, basically you can utilize this uh, vm environment so everything you will be having control so you can see it guys here that uh, copying that windows file it's almost done uh, getting ready for the installation installing the features and uh, soon it will be finishing up so you just hold on.
Okay, so uh, we are just waiting for the last one and it will be come up very soon. Now see, it's done, it's so fast. Yes, so the installation is done. Now it will be asking for some credential, it's machine got rebooted. Now it will be asking for that uh, username and all. So we just have a look. By default, it will be administrator. I will be showing you up. So it's getting ready now. So very soon it will be done. So just wait for a while. So you can see guys, uh, the installation process has been done. Now it's boot up and I mean it is booting up. It will be asking some credential now. I mean it will be asking for creating the password and all those. So those I'm going to show you up. Please have patience. So the installation is done already. So if you can recall, first we have downloaded the image from that Microsoft website. Then uh, we have created the VM in this VMware workstation. Then we have imported the image in this and then we powered on. Then we have created the partition. We have given uh, the partition size, how much we need, and then network. We have made this one as a NAT, and then uh, you know we have done it. So which reason right now we are? So you can select like which reason right now you are. Okay, so it's not uh, necessary that you have to do. Later on also you can change it. So let it be as a default. You can change that later. Now keyboard layout, it will be US. Uh, you want secondary keyboard, I don't want. Now we have some important setup to do. So it's saying, let's have a look like what kind of setup it's talking about. So guys, uh, you see it's asking that uh, name of the 
PC, what is the name you are going to set? That is the name I want to set. Password. I am keeping as of now A D M I N at one two three. A D M I N at one two three. So security question. Anything. So in case you forget, so this is the way you can retrieve back. So get help, the digital assistance, Cortona, Cortona something will be here that will be helping you to do installation and other things. So you can see guys, uh, the Windows 10 is ready now. Okay. So now it will take a while to setting up the color blind, uh, you know, it will be checking the several minutes. It's checking that, you know, brightness and uh, like all the drivers are installed, anything is missing. So any uh, driver is required for this. So all that, uh, you know, possible updates it's taking now and making some internal changes. So guys, uh, you can have a look. We have done with uh, installation. So this is that uh, machine and you can see uh, Windows 10 Enterprise and by default it will be there 90 days. The first thing that what we will do, as I told you, we will be installing the driver, right? So see how we are installing the driver. Just right click on that. Install VMware tools. Once you will click on that VMware tools and then you go here Windows. Now go to this PC. Can you see that VMware tool is available here? You select there. Select 64 bit. Now click on yes. So once you click on yes, so you can see that the tool is installing now. Once that installation is done, it will ask for reboot. In between, if you want to change the computer name that you can do, you see how guys how to change the computer name. Let, let me show you that one. If you want to change the computer name, so you will go here and this PC right right click on that go to properties now can you change check that this is that by default computer name you click here change setting now click on change this is the computer name let's say client and to give the name client i click ok once you click ok it will be asking for reboot we will be doing reboot so see it's asking restart we'll check that driver has been installed or not if the driver is done so then we will be doing a reboot at the same time so it's finished this is also asking for reboot yes 
So now see, it's a restarting. So we have done with the installation. Now this one we don't want. How we will be cancelling it? You will be going VMs and removable drive that CD. Right now we don't need it, the CD, right? First time when we wanted to boot, that's that time we have just imported. When I inserted that, now we don't need it. Now it will be coming that username. And we will be give that credential see so it will be asking the see this is the username and we will be giving the password admin at one two three now you can see we are logged into the machine next uh, what we are supposed to check we are supposed to check the we are supposed to check that uh, user we have creating that we will be checking the firewall right so how we'll be checking the firewall you just uh, guys let me do the full screen now you see you are exactly feeling like it's a, a real machine but actually it's a vm you just go to that start button and right click on that once you right click you can see the run you can search you can do everything that is the best thing so just right click everything you can find it out so click on run and then type there firewall firewall dot cpl so once it will be going there firewall dot cpl you can check that firewall so the firewall is on you see firewall is on now you can select block incoming connection including the list of allowed ops so that you can do if something you don't want some unnecessary uh, you know traffic will be coming in your machine so if you want to stop you can do that okay so you got it second thing is let's say you want to create new user so how you will be doing suppose you'll go here not bad now uh, observe this one it's very important so first what we did we went run and then firewall.cpl to check the firewall status next we'll be going run appwiz.cpl to check what all software are installed now you will be going run and then type ncpa.cpl that to check network card details and IP related information so if you want to find out the IP rel related information then we will be going run and type there services.msc to check the service to see the service details now if you want to see that run comp comp tur computer mgmt dot msc so 
if you type that it's going to show you the computer management details all right so this is that uh, few things i will be showing you practically right away now few things you go to run command prompt and type ping let's say google.com if you are getting reply then you are connected with you are connected with internet run command prompt ip config that is going to going to show you the ip details then run command prompt uh, root print it will be showing you routing details all right so let's do one by one so if you go to run firewall.cpl so it will be showing you the firewall details if you go to run type here appwiz.cpl so it will be showing that software that are installed that vm2 do we have installed now i told you earlier that if you want to install uh, hyper v that is also one virtualization tool like VMware, which is Microsoft already having inbuilt. So you click on that and you can select Hyper-V from here if you like. But we already have, so I don't want. So you have seen it. You will be click on that. Then you will be selecting Hyper-V and then you can find it that. So then uh, we will be going here, command ncpa.cpl in order to check the network details. You will go there right click status details so you can see that ip address 192.168.196.129 that is the ip address of this machine then uh, we have to see the services s-e-r-v-i-c-e-s services.msc so once we'll be going that services.msc you can see all the services Let's say you want to check the print cooler. Sometime your printer makes some issues. So you can uh, make it manual and then apply and then the start button. So the, mostly it will be working. Let's say you want to check about the DNS details. So this is the DNS is running. You want to see the DHCP details. So it's a easy DHCP. You can restart. If you want to, this is the restart. If you want to uh, restart. In the service you can see okay so now you will be coming uh, to another one computer management.msc so you go around here comp mgmt.msc so now after that it will be coming see computer management so guys uh, you see here they are having a users so these are the administrators and all those if you want to create new user right click on that new user now let's say give a name uh, let's say test user test user and i'm setting that password same admin at one two three admin at one two three create see user has been created test user if i want to have a look the test user so you go here power off and or uh, you can go like this See, that computer has been locked. Now you go all control delete. 
Now see test user is here. Admin at one two three. Now you are in the another user. So this is the test user. All right, guys. See so here creating again new desktop. So you have seen how to create, uh, you know, new user. Again, if you come here, do this. So you will go here, switch user. You can do switch user. And now network red. You can go here. Admin at one two three. Got it guys. So we have seen how to create users. Now uh, I told you you need to update that your Windows machine. That is very important. You need to do update. So you'll be going to settings. How you went? You went there and click on this settings. After that you will be click here update and security. So once we'll click here check for update. We'll be click here. So if it is any update is required, so it will be come up there. Okay, now you want to install browser. So how we'll be doing? Let's say this is Microsoft Edge. This is the default browser. You want Google Chrome, right? So how we'll be going that? We'll be going here, Google Chrome. We'll click that one. See, you'll click on Google immediately it will be giving you a prompt to install for that see asking that switch to google chrome i said yes now google chrome will be installing see download google chrome you save it so google chrome will be downloading now So it's downloaded. So we have done with that downloading Google Chrome. Now you see it's asking about that permission. I said yes. In between we'll check. So this much update this computer will take now. You have seen guys how to take that Windows update. So you will be going here. Now click on this, right? And then we'll be select the update. So this much update is taking up. Now you see uh, your Google Chrome is installing here. So it's downloading now. This taking is going to be take three minutes. So in between we'll be taking a, a we can install another browser let's say mozilla mozilla firefox download you can do that one so download download firefox that is also will install so we'll be having two of the browser you can see here mozilla Now we will minimize and we'll go to that desktop. You can see the Firefox is downloaded. It's saying we'll be going here and we'll see the download. Now this is the Firefox. So you can click on this. Now you will allow this. Now see this Mozilla is running now. So this is the way we will be doing the uh, you know installation of browsers you can see guys here that your google chrome has been installed yes your google chrome is installed now
fine. This is the Google Chrome. It's ready now. So now we can download one uh, Java. Java download. Why? Because uh, this machine I will be using for some other purposes also. So the some of the tools I need to run, like some security tool, ethical hacking tool. So for that, you know, Java will be required. So latest update has got in April 14. Okay, that's fine. Agree and download. So it will be downloading. Okay. So the now next uh, things that we want to do, that is, uh, you know creating partitions so if you go to this computer this virtual machine so they are having only one partitions is there right that is C drive because we have not created any you go here in the computer you see only one drive is there that is C drive we want to create one more partition let's say 5 gig partition we want to create so how you will be doing that all right so let me finish the installation of that Java this is Java Okay, so now we will be creating the partition. We will be going run. We will be going to run. So this is run. And computer mgmt.msc. Once we'll be clicking that computer mgmt.msc, it's going to come. Hold on for a moment. And see here guys now you go to that disk management after going to that disk management you can see the partitions it will be popping up hold on for a moment So see, uh, that is C drive is here. This is your C drive. And you can see 29 GB of partition here. So we want to keep another, I mean create another partition, which is five gig. How will be doing? Right click on that. Now shrink volume. Once we'll be going to that shrink volume. So it will be popping up another new page. Please keep patience because we are going to learn a lot many things. So you can see the guys, uh, Firefox also got installed in the browser. Firefox browser also ready. See that. See Firefox is ready. And Chrome also ready. Now Java is installing and we are waiting for the partitions so how what all we have did so we just right click on the c drive and this right click on the c drive and then 
uh, shrink volume after that it will be giving you some of that space like how much GB you want to create and then we can create the partitions there okay 